Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and I would like to show you a plugin that can really help you with level design. So, the plugin is called Physical Layout Tool, I have it right here, but it's for free on Unreal Engine Marketplace, so you can download it right here, or I will leave you a link in the description. If you are using older version of Unreal Engine, I have a bad news for you, this one works only for 4.26. So, I have applied it here in one test project, so let me show you what it actually does and what it looks like. It's just a regular project with stutter content, because I will need some meshes to move around. So let's uh, find your props. Right here, and once you activate that plugin, which you can do here in plugins and installed, right here I have physical layout. You can simply activate it here in modes and physical layout. And by the way, guys, if something doesn't make sense or you want to know more, the guy who made it made pretty good uh, PDF document, so you can just read through that. I will leave a link in the description, and, uh, or you can, of course, find it in the description of the plugin. So you can read through that. But let me just quickly show you what it is capable of, because I'm actually pretty impressed, it's really cool. What it does basically is use this Apex Physics from Unreal Engine to help you build your scenes. So what you can do right here, you have modes for select, paint and transform. And let's say that I want to put here this lamp, this statue. So let's take it here and I can move it or do anything. Regular shortcuts down don't really work. So what I have to do is to switch on transform. And I think that is actually a shortcut, but I don't remember it. It will be for sure in the document. And what I can, and let's say that I want to leave it lying right here, but regularly I would have to find just the right angle. What this thing helps with is that I can move it like that and then simply enable gravity and it will simulate it as I need. And once it is done, I can of course move it a bit more and let's add here another one, do do do, put it like that, again enable gravity for that, let's move that guy up, do do do, something like that, and I think the problem right here is with collisions, and it may be a bit of a disadvantage because you have to look at collisions of these objects and you can see that it won't really fit, which is alright because we need to think about performance as well. So right now that's cool, let's disable gravity for that and I can now, oh it's still using collision, so uh, you can disable that mode, get back on regular mode and move that if you want to be super detailed. But for a rough sketching of basically anything and environment, it will be really useful. Let's quickly go back into physical layout mode and let's let's try to add here a few more objects. Let's put here this thing right next to it. I want to have simple table. Let's select both of them and enable transform and of course enable gravity, which will cause it to fall down through the through the floor for some reason. Why is that? Does it have collisions? Oh, it doesn't have collisions. That's something that of course can happen. Uh, it's kind of weird that it happens with stutter content, but you know, Epic does what it thinks. So you can simply da -da -da, create here new collision and auto conveys, blah, blah, blah. And here we go. Well, let's disable gravity, put it back and now enable it and it should work just fine. Wait, why does it not work? Let's try it one more time. Maybe it needs to be reloaded with new collision. Yeah, look at that, it works fine. So let's add here a few more things. Let's add here, for example, also this chair. And now what, what it also does is it reworks our scale. So now if you select a few items and, don't, uh, and you want to scale it, it won't actually scale it, but it will sort of pull it together. So if I do something like that, you can see that it kind of pulls it all together with physical force. Let's enable also gravity for that. And do something like that. Touch it, push it a bit more. And now let's disable that gravity, go back. And here you go, you have prepared level that actually looks pretty cool. I like how it looks like. Let's also put here a rock, for example, for whatever reason. Enable gravity and it will slowly fall to that and while it is falling you can of course rotate it and do anything you want with that and it seems like rock doesn't have collisions as well. Alright, I'm not gonna fix its rock, that's epic problems, not mine. Let's put here a few of these lamps and again try to put them together. So let's select them. All the other shortcuts like pressing shift and stuff works just fine so you can use them. Enable gravity and let's pull it together. And now move here, okay, come on, right here, and now pull it together. 
etc etc i believe that this can really speed up your process when designing level at least uh, to its rough state and especially if you are designing a huge level and you have small team this can be a real lifesaver all right that's it i just wanted to show you this awesome plugin don't forget to go to site of this wonderful guy who made that plugin you can also see on his channel pretty cool video of how to use that plugin so you can sub to him etc etc do whatever you want you will have all the links that you need in the description of course and that's about it i hope that it helps you and see you in the next video so fancy out